Hi guys, uh, good morning and welcome back. Uh, thank you for tuning into the pre-market analysis. We will try to discuss the market, uh, what is the market and what are the news available for the market and all. Before going to that, let me give a disclaimer that content we are discussing is only for educational purpose. It is not a buy or sell recommendation guys. I am not a semi registered person to give you advice on buy or sell. So without any like you know further delay, let us directly get into the market. So if you look at the uh, last uh, five days, our nifty 50 market so last friday it has given uh, almost a flattish performance if you look at the last one week performance it has given 1.17 percent of price 281 points up so there is a positive momentum in the market even if you look at the uh, nasdaq performance of uh, the last five days it has given 2.58 percent up it's a very good uh, up move and uh, even if you look at the dow jones performance it is 0.73 percent up it was a kind of volatile but uh, still it has uh, closed positive so all and all like you know if you look at the overall the market perspective remains positive and the market trends remains positive uh, i think uh, the same trends uh, remains the same also if you look at uh, the estimation for today like you know it might reach 24500 level uh, today if the positive trends remains the same uh, definitely it will reach the 24500 level the immediate support will be 24,200 guys. So 24,200 also is a support for me, and 24,500 will be the immediate resistance for our market. So uh, as of now, there is a positive momentum in the market. If you look at uh, the FIS and DAS activity, it will date for this uh, July month. Uh, they have bought uh, 6,874 crores net worth in the cash market, whereas uh, the DAS have sold. Uh, 385.9 crores of uh, uh, equity shares in the cash market so all and all like you know uh, the market uh, remains positive because of FIS and uh, SIPS flows and uh, recently I was reading uh, uh, somewhere in the uh, news so that like you know in the June month uh, the highest number of uh, uh, demand accounts has been created nearly 40 lakhs uh, something demand account has been created uh, it is going in the positive trend uh, that is also uh, one of the plus for the market uh, so so many so much of amount is coming to the market through sips and all so it is good uh, it is going good uh, even though like you know sometimes the ps and DAs are uh, dragging here and there but uh, continuously uh, the retail investors and uh, the somewhere uh, another uh, fis or DAs are taking the market to the next level so every day market is uh, like you know touching the new day and uh, creating the new day record so it is good let us quickly come back to the stock reduction for today bandhan bank uh, uh, bank of Baroda will be in focus today the bank has received the board of call for raising the additional capital of up to 7500 crores via debt capital instruments and raising up to 10,000 crores through long-term bonds for financing infrastructure and affordable housing. So then comes Tata Motors, Jaguar, Land Rover recovered 5% on year growth in wholesale at 97,755 units and 9% increase in the retail sales at 1.11 lakh units guys in the financial year 2025. Uh, so keep a close eye on this also. So then comes NLC India. NLC has emerged as a successful bidder for uh, um, Matakata coal mine in Angul, Odisha. So this is the second commercial coal mine block in Odisha. So this will also be in focus today. So then comes multi uh, commodity exchange of India. Ramesh Gurum has resigned as a chief information security officer and data production officer of the company, effective from 27th September 2024. So then Bandhan Bank will also be in focus. The board has approved the appointment of uh, Ratan Kumar Kesh as an interim MD and CEO of the bank effectively from July 10th. So Power Grid Corporation of India will also be in focus. The board of directors of the company will meet on July 10th to consider announcing the borrowing limits for the financial year 2025 and 2026. Co-Forge India co will also be in focus. The company has further acquired uh, 4 lakh uh, Patil 6 lakhs 18,199 equity shares uh, representing 16.92% of the current paid up uh, shares capital and 16.76% of the expanded capital of Signity. 
So the therefore just uh, further acquired the uh, sum of the percentage of shares in Signity. So that's why we will be focused today. So uh, today keep a close eye on that budget is also coming up. The date is announced like you know July 23rd. Uh, Nirmala Sitharaman is going to announce the uh, budget. So we will see like you know lot of expectation is there in the power sector, renewable energy sector, railway sector and defense sector. So keep a close eye on all these sectors. Uh, defense sector will uh, keep performing well. So let us uh, wish that uh, let the defense sector perform well as well. And uh, IT sector is also performing well because of uh, the job, da job data that has uh, US has released. So it is also with the inline uh, performance and the unemployment rate is also like you know going 1%, 0.1% up. So that is also like you know big data for for the interest rate cuts in the US. So we will see all and all like you know everything is seems to be uh, in line and everything is uh, going with the positive. We will keep a close eye on the market performance rate. So I think uh, for coming uh, few months is a crucial month for the market. I think it is going to perform well. So as of now there are no negative or reversal signal for the market. So let the market uh, party hard. Okay. So that's all for today guys. Thank you. Thank you so very much. We will try to discuss the performance of today's stock in the evening session as well. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you so very much.